we'll be discussing about pallor so what happens is in the areas of the body where superficial vessels are present due to the flow of red oxygenated hemoglobin through these vessels there is a reddish tinge present in these areas okay so if there is reddish tinge is present then we consider it as normal whereas if this reddish tinge is decreased or it is absent we consider it as pallor okay so to look for pallor we will look in the areas of superficial vessels that is the anterior rim of the lower palpebral conjunctiva we can look it over the tongue we can look it over the nail bed and we can look it over the palm okay so these are the areas where we can look for the pallor now when will be the pallor present normally the reddish tinge is present to the flow of the oxygenated hemoglobin through the blood vessel so whenever there is decreased concentration of the oxygenated hemoglobin in that case there will be pallor present for which the main cause is anemia so the main cause for pallor is anemia the cut off for anemia is in males it is considered as anemia if the concentration is less than 13 g percent whereas in the females it is considered as anemia when the concentration is less than 10 12 g percent okay so if the pallor is pre- present we usually think of it as anemia and if we are suspecting a case of anemia we should also look for the associated features in the general physical examination to look for the associated cause like we can check the nails for colonychia as they can be present in iron deficiency anemia we can look for the hyperpigmentation of the knuckles in case of b12 deficiency and we can look for the bleeding tendencies as if they are present there might be a bone marrow disorder leading to the anemia but one thing which you should always keep in mind is there can be conditions in which the pallor might be present but the anemia is not present so to understand it is the reddish tinge is present to the fl- due to the flow of oxygenated hemoglobin so if there is any obstruction to the blood flow such that the blood cannot pass across the obstruction in that case also there will be decreased oxygenated hemoglobin going through the areas of the superficial vessels okay which can happen in case of a peripheral vascular disease can occur in case of left heart failure or can happen in case of shock so whenever the blood flow is decreased in that case is also less hem- oxygen oxygenated hemoglobin which will be re- reaching these areas and the pallor will be present similarly if the blood pressure is decreased in that case also the blood flow will be decreased and again the pallor can be present and the blood pressure can be decreased in cases of addison disease hypopituitarism and hypothyroidism in addison disease and pi- hypopituitarism what happens is the cortisol will decrease and the cortisol increases the release of norepinephrine so if the cortisol is decreased the norepinephrine will be decreased sympathetic activation will be decreased and the blood pressure will decrease similarly the hypo in hypothyroidism what happens is thyroxine normally increases the sensitivity of catecholamine receptors so if the thyroxine decreases the sensitivity decreases sympathetic activation decreases and thus the blood pressure decreases so there are conditions in which the pallor is present but there is no anemia okay the next thing you need to know is when will be the pallor visible is the pallor visible if the hemoglobin is less than 13 or less than 12 no if the pallor is present on the skin and mucous membranes usually the hemoglobin is level is less than 10 g percent okay so if the pallor is absent it doesn't always rule out anemia okay as the between the range of 10 to 12 and 10 to 13 the patient might have anemia but the pallor might not be present similarly if you are looking for the pallor of the palm creases you can look in this picture normally what is what happens is the pigmentation over the crease is more than the surrounding area but if the pigmentation over the palm creases becomes less as compared to the surrounding skin we consider it to be severe pallor and with a probable level of hemoglobin less than 8 g percent